So hey guys, and welcome back to another episode of Amzie's Corner. How are you guys doing out there today? So, uh, real early, I'm in here about 7.30 in the morning. I've been here for about an hour. Uh, the reason being is uh, the head tech here, the seniority senior tech, is uh, on vacation for the next few days. So uh, it's just me and, uh, and Junior, who's not here yet. So uh, I'm not really gonna have much time to do a proper time lapse, proper repair video this week, just because I gotta, I gotta be accountable a little more. I gotta step my game up a little bit to keep the, keep everything running smoothly. But I figured I'd, uh, I take a second because we got this, uh, this Jeep here. Now, um, what if you could go back in time and buy a vehicle and put it in a time capsule, not touch it, humidity controlled, and just, just not drive it, take it right off the showroom floor, maybe go around a little bit and, uh, and just put it away. And I think this is what you'd have right here. If you took a 98 Jeep Wrangler and just either put it in a time capsule or went back in time. So, uh, let me, let me show you a little bit here. This, uh, this Jeep, you can see this is a 98. Uh, August of 98 is its build date on this Jeep. Now, uh, yeah, that's that's 4,066 miles. That's 4,000 miles. That's all this truck's driven. Uh, not a not a mark, not a scuff, not a scrape, a dent, a ding, no mud, no fallout, nothing on it. This is about as showroom clean as you're gonna find a Jeep like this. Now, uh, it's got a lot of neat stuff going on it. This is actually the son of the owner of the Subaru dealership down the street. And uh, there's been some upgrades done to it. It's got uh, a decent lift on it. Looks like a three or four inch, three inch lift or so. Nice, uh, nice light bar. It's got a uh, nice audio system install, uh, all that good stuff. It's got the, uh, the tire holder, nice, uh, I don't know who makes this tire holder. And uh, we've actually had this in here before. I put these uh, these rock rail steps on, real quality stuff there. But um, they want some more upgrades. And what we have here is a whole mess of boxes. Whole mess of boxes. Skid plates, bash plates, <clears throat> uh, 10,000 pound winch with that spider uh, synthetic rope cable. Uh, I've never actually uh, touched this stuff or done anything with that, so that's gonna be interesting. Got a winch mount bumper, tube grill guard, <clears throat> something, I don't know what that is yet. Oil pan skid plate, what's that? Skid plate kit, skid plate for the gas tank. So uh, I got some nice gear going on this thing for brand new vehicle getting outfitted way better than it could have been outfitted back in 98 when it was made. But um, yeah, it, uh, it doesn't get any cleaner than this. You know, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I'm not the biggest Jeep fan, but uh, I always did like the, uh, the Wranglers. I always did like the, the old style of these. They just don't make these anymore. And uh, it's, like it's got a plow set up on it too. That's interesting. But uh, yeah, 4,000 miles. We'll close that up later. Uh, so anyways, I'm not sure when I'm going to be breaking into these boxes. Probably uh, maybe the end of this week. Maybe we'll get a nice, uh, nice video. Maybe we'll set it up so I'll come in on Sunday and... Uh, and hook this up. I'm not sure yet, but uh, looks like Barbara's out here. Needs some of my information. I'm the guy she's got to talk to. So, uh, anyways, that's about it for today. And uh, until next time, guys, keep it out of the cabbage. 